Hello, and welcome to TRB Collectibles. This is your guest today, Chris. And I'm Tom. I'll be your guide through this estate sale. This was one of my first estate sales in San Diego. And Chris, this was one of his first estate sales ever, which made it even more fun as we went through this house. As you know, Chris is always dressed for the occasion, especially at estate sales. I think car culture on the west coast is much stronger than it is on the east coast. When I go to yard sales and estate sales and thrift stores, I find a lot more Hot Wheels cars and Matchbox cars on the west coast than I do on the east coast. When I came across this tub of brand new sealed, what looked like vintage Hot Wheels cars, I was taken aback. For $3 each, it wasn't too bad. It was store comparable pricing. I debated wanting to buy all of them, seeing if I could make a little profit, which I could have, but I did not know enough about it. But to whoever collected all these Hot Wheels cars, they knew what they were doing, and they enjoyed yeah. these cars. Can you make money from Hot Wheels and Matchbox? You sure can. You just need to know what you're looking for, as Chris just showed us. Welcome back to Rate the Bathroom at the Estate Sale. This bathroom didn't get too many points. It didn't even have a door. It was very plain and simple. Nothing unique. The only thing that gave it a couple points was the note on the toilet, which I found really funny. Did you know that you can't use the bathroom at an estate sale? Well, now you do. Are there ribbons in there or no? Mm -mm. Up until this point, I really haven't come across my favorite category, media. So I went ahead and I took a look through all these CDs and actually none of them turned out to be worth it. So I had to leave them behind. Now whenever picking up used electronics that take batteries, always check the battery compartment door because the batteries might be so old that they corroded, like this one, which could prevent it from working. So rather than purchasing it, I left it behind due to the corrosion. Now this is something that I've never seen before, ever, at any estate sale, yard sale, or thrift store. It might look like cologne, but it's not. It's actually writing ink. Now I looked it up on eBay and it actually does go for decent money, but it has to be brand new. My only concern is the shipping. I don't want that glass to crack or break, which it does look like thick glass, but those were open and used, so they didn't have enough value for me to buy it.
I think the highlight of this estate sale was the backyard. The view was amazing. The weather was incredible. The plants were well maintained. The pool was gorgeous and it just drew you in wanting you to jump in the pool. And there was so much space for outdoor activities and the barbecue pit was huge. Enjoy the view. I come across them quite often, and it's the pop-at-home popcorn machines. Now granted, it's fun to see, and I do thoroughly enjoy movies. So one of these days, I'm gonna have to pick up one of these machines. They had DVDs and Blu-rays that I spotted from across the room. I definitely needed to check these out. The DVDs and Blu-rays were priced really fairly at $2 a piece. I went ahead and I picked up both of these Star Trek Blu-rays, but what made them really worth it was that they were both 4K. The discs were clean and I could make a very decent profit. The next items that I'm currently looking for in this bottom shelf, I'm going through their tennis rackets because I've sold tennis rackets in the past. The tennis rackets are priced at $4 a piece, and I go ahead and I find one that I can easily sell for $40 to $45. But the way shipping now works for the USPS, anything over 30 inches, there's a cost on top of the shipping cost. If you check out my previous video, I do go over this in detail. I can easily sell this on Facebook Marketplace, but I'm probably going to stick it on eBay, take a little bit less of a profit, but still somebody's probably looking for this. So, go here, and then go show more, and then scroll down, and then click uh, sold. And you'll see that there are yeah, a lot. Okay. So somebody has it listed, but it's probably been listed for, you know, a little while. See how much they charge? They charge you like five. Oh, here, here's five. Three. Three. Yeah, three dollars. And then take a little rag and clean it up. Yeah. 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 Take a chance on it. Why not? Uh, That's a good buy. Yeah, I'm doing it. Hold it up. Yep. 
estate sales usually on the first day, they will not. They will not. They will not bargain. They will not bargain at all. They are doing wrong. They are not going to bargain. This is an old book series. Oh wait, it's sealed. This is like a 90s book series. Yeah, how much do they want? They want 450. That's specific. Where's the... There. Let's see, let's see. Some of these games seal really well. And this is all good on Chris. I just know I read the books. They're yeah. really popular. Uh, let's go. There you go. Sweet. Are you gonna get there? Yeah, I'll take that. Alright, just don't rip the plastic, that's all you have to do. Alright, let go. Let's go. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to click that like button. And if you have some spare time, check out some of these other videos. Thanks!